Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, I will show you how to set up the Oracle ODBC drivers in order to allow you to connect to your Oracle database remotely. In order to set up your database, you will have to perform the following steps. Open the ODBC AD32 and run it, or you can go to the Start button, then go to All Programs, then find the Oracle Home folder, and under the Oracle Home folder, there is an option that says Microsoft ODBC Administrator, which we will use in this course. And then you have to configure the Oracle BI Server 1 in order to be able to connect to the RPD in online mode. And you will use the IP address of the virtual machine to configure the Oracle BI Server 1. The next steps will be demonstrated in the video that follows. To configure the ODBC, go to the Start button of Programs. Under Oracle Home Database 12 Home 1, click that option and go to Configuration and Migration Tools and then choose Microsoft ODBC Administrator. When this open, go to System DSN, which is data source name, and then click Add. Then choose the option where you have your TNS names listener as well as the TNS aura file. Click that option, then click Finish. Data source name, we know the name of the database is ORACL, which is what we retained at the time of install installation. Then you type again RSEL. Then in this option, you will have three different options. You choose RSEL. Then we can type system since we have not created any other users in the database. And we want to test this connection. So you click on test. And we allow give you an opportunity to retype your password to confirm it. Then you type in the password. And then click OK. The connection was successful. And then you go ahead and click on OK and OK. And that is how you configure the ODBC for Oracle Remote Connection. And then you go ahead and click OK. The next part of this lesson will show you how to set up the Oracle BI server in order to, for us to be able to connect to the Oracle Virtual Box so that we can open our RPD in online mode. To do so, we have to go to the start again, or programs, Oracle Database Home, configuration and migration tools, and then you go to the Microsoft ODBC Administrator, again, System DSN, and you click Add. This time, instead of picking the Instant Client option, you pick the Oracle BI Server 1, and then click Finish. Once you click finish, just type Oracle BI Server 1. And just repeat the same thing. You can type whatever you want for description. Just like to keep the same descriptions. And then here you you will type in you will type in the IP address for the virtual machine. And I will show you how to retrieve the IP address. And if you recall, in an earlier step, we had already saved the IP address somewhere. And this is where you enter it now, where it says server. But in case you do not remember the IP address of VirtualBox, you go out there and you open the VirtualBox. Then open the terminal. Once you open the terminal, type the following sbin if config. And this is our IP address, what we're looking for. And this IP address will always come up first every time you start the virtual box. So you bring up your configuration window and type in that IP address. Then you click Next. Then the user we're going to use is weblogic and then we type in the password for weblogic which is admin123 with the first letter being uppercase and the port will automatically be prefilled for you 
and you just have to click connect on this option then you click next and that's how it connects then here you can change the default subject area and you can pick whatever subject area you want to automatically connect to once you open so I'll keep I'll pick the sample cells and if I wanted to change time zones I'll change the time zones here and the language I'll also change it here then you click on the RCL database and then you click finish and that also sets up the Oracle BI server one for online opening of the RPD and then you click OK and that takes care of setting up the ODBC as well as the Oracle BI server but recall that for you to be able to set up the Oracle BI server your database should be running and your business intelligence should be running in the virtual box. Recall the steps earlier from a video which shows you how to start all the scripts in the virtual box for the database, the WebLogic administration server, the WebLogic managed server, and the start BI and SBase uh, scripts. Those three, or should I say, those four should be running before you can establish that connection. Otherwise, your connection attempts will fail. Thank you for watching and I uh, look forward to answering any questions you may have going forward.